Hey guys, it's Mrs. Priestley again. We're going to go ahead and do another project today. And what I've got is just an old CD. You probably have some of these kicking around. Most of us don't use them very much anymore. So I had a bunch at my house that were old and empty and blank. So I'm going to use one of these. And I'm going to make a really cute piece of art that <laughs> uses black paint. And then I'm going to scratch back into it to make a design. And these look really, really neat hanging around the garden or in a window where they can reflect some light. So I'm going to go ahead and take my black paint. doesn't really matter what kind of paint you use. I'm just going to squeeze it right on the CD. As long as it's a fairly thick, nice, dark color. I prefer black because I like the amount of contrast that I get between the color of the CD, which we'll see again shortly, and the black paint. Again, you can use any color and any type of paint. The only one I wouldn't recommend is watercolor. It does need to have a little bit of stickiness to it so that it will stick to the shiny CD. And I do want it a nice even coat. I want to get it nice and smooth. I used too much paint, that's okay. And I'll probably end up doing two coats to get it to cover up nicely. So I'm going to take some of that extra paint that I got and I'm just going to squish it over there. I'll use it in a bit. So I'm just going to spend a minute smoothing things out. I don't want to push very hard because the CD is so smooth and shiny that if I push really hard, it's probably going to end up just moving the paint off of the CD. See a couple spots right there. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera where I've pushed too much and it's just pulling it off of the CD. There we go. So I'm going to let that dry. And if it looks like it needs another coat, I'll give it another coat. But for now, I'm just going to leave that be and I'm going to let it dry so we can do the next step. All right. So my paint has dried and I've only done one side at this point. I can do this one too, but I'm going to skip it for now. I'll go back and finish it later. Um, if your paint came out really streaky, then you can add a second coat. Mine looks pretty even, so I'm going to go ahead and go with it. So to work on my Suncatcher Mandala, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a stick. You can take a popsicle stick. You can take a pencil without lead in it or a pen without lead in it. Anything is fine. So I'm going to start with a pattern around the center circle. And it can be large or it can be small. And I'm just going to scrape away at the paint. And I used an acrylic paint, so mine's a little tougher to come off. So I'm going to make sure that my stick is pointed. Yep. And I'm going to slowly scratch away at the paint and reveal a design. And then I'm going to go around and do the same thing. And you can already see some of those nice colors coming through on the disc on the CD there. And again, mine's a little tough to scratch through because I used an acrylic paint. If you're using a poster paint or a temper paint, that will be a much easier to scratch off. Although it won't be as strong or as lasting as an acrylic paint. So use either what you have or figure out what's going to work better for you. Again, the only paint that doesn't really work is a watercolor because it doesn't have... Um, any other materials in it that are going to stick to the CD. The CD is a non-porous surface, so it's not going to stay very well. So I'm going to try using a pencil real quick. Nope, that's not much better. Okay, I was better off with a stick. So I'm going to keep going. And I would probably do two more over here, but I'm just going to focus on this section for a minute. So after I've got the first part of my pattern in, I like to go back and add some more. Maybe a stripe. Ooh, maybe that stripe has lines in it. And I do find it a bit easier to work from a line that's already started. You'll notice I have, don't have to keep stopping to clean off my tool. That's just because the acrylic paint is a plastic base paint and it doesn't um, like to be pulled through. It's a much tougher paint than a temper paint, the stuff we use in the classroom. So because I've already started marking it there, it's easier to go through and pull stuff out of it. I can also take off, go back into the pattern. And I'm going to switch the end of my stick here. And I can take off larger sections. I don't have to do just skinny lines. 
so I can have some places where I've got a little bit more coming through. And that gives me more of that bright, shiny, seedy color. Okay. So again, I would continue this pattern all the way around, but I love going back and working into the shapes I've already done. So I do tend to start with a bigger shape and then I'll go back into that shape and I'll play with it. So maybe this one that I was working on over here, maybe that turns into a petal. It's springtime, I'm feeling the flowers. I'm gonna try using a knife that's a little bit dull. I've used this one for a bunch of projects. You can probably see that it's all scarred up and burnt, almost burnt looking. That works okay, but I gotta be careful because it'll slice into the CD if I'm not careful. Here, I'm gonna get it started for the stick, I think. Yep, there we go. All right, guys, so right now what I'm going to do is I've gone all the way around. You might notice I switched tools a bunch of times. Um, it's got a few little spots in there that didn't clean off nicely. So I'm going to just take some uh, rubbing alcohol and I'm going to put it on a tissue, wrap it around my stick there. And I'm just going to use that to clean up those little spots that I couldn't get really nicely. I don't like doing the whole thing this way, even though I know it looks a lot easier than what I just did. Um, mostly because it's kind of stinky and I don't get the nice crisp lines, but it is great for cleaning up bigger areas. So if I take and I just try to draw with that, you can see it doesn't really open up um, as cleanly or as nicely. I can do it and it does work, but it takes a while. It's a little stinky and it just doesn't make as nice and clean of a line. So I will put a piece of string through this hole and I will hang it up in my window to catch some sunshine. These are also really fun um, around the garden if you have a lot of critters that like to get into your summertime garden having a nice shiny CD can sometimes scare them off. Doesn't really work very well in the deer that like to eat my plants, but I try. Bye guys.